How do you turn a mouse into a mind detector? You start by tweaking the neurobiology of its nose. Mice can detect a whole host of odors. How do you make mice want to detect minds more than perhaps other odors? One way to do that would be to engineer mice so that they make a receptor that is more sensitive to landmines. A normal mouse has about 10 million neurons devoted to smells. Each odor-sensing neuron has just one type of aroma receptor, and each type is controlled by just one gene. There are a thousand different genes for odor receptors in the ordinary mouse brain. Researchers at Hunter College in New York City, though, are taking advantage of a recent discovery, a receptor in the rodent brain for the odor of a chemical known as 2,4-dinitrotoline, DNT. It's essentially the same as TNT, and they're studying that receptor to develop a breed of super-sniffing mice that can be used to detect landmines. By most estimates, there are 110 million unexploded landmines in former war zones worldwide. You want something to universally detect all mines, and thus the one commonality amongst all mines is the odor TNT. Dogs can smell the TNT aroma, and so can rats, just not reliably enough for finding so many hidden mines, experts say, to breed a better minesweeper. Paul Feinstein and Charlotte Dulst are developing mice that are 500 times more sensitive to the TNT aroma of a landmine than an ordinary rodent. By modifying that gene for DNT, the researchers have created mice with up to one million neurons in which the odor receptor is tuned to the fragrance of a landmine. To make sure the gene ends up where it belongs, they attach to biochemical tags that make the neuron glow under fluorescent light. They can use a microscope to take brain images of the mice as the creatures sniff DNT to see how many of the altered neurons are working. That can be presented to the animal's nose, which would be about here. The researchers are breeding hundreds of these genetically engineered mice for more laboratory tests. But it may be five years before they're ready for a field trial. We would actually create a mouse, send them in the field, and declare a minefield. To me, that's ultimate success. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm science writer Robert Lee Hotz.